This is the Malto Pinwheel Calculator. Let me show you the uh, other side. Down here you can just about make out it says AB Addo Malmo made in Sweden. This uh, adding machine or this calculator was made by the uh, company Addo and that company was founded in 1918 and they only made adding machines, adding listing machines. In the early 1940s they decided to design a pinwheel machine and that turned out to be this one. It uh, started production in 1949. Um, it has some really nice, nice touches. Uh, there's a button here that uh, shifts the carriage all the way to the left under a spring. These, uh, these input levers are, are coloured in, in silver and red. Uh, sort of uh, two red ones to indicate the numbers, the digits after the decimal point, and then in groups of three. You can easily see the, uh, the number you've set in this input register up here. When you uh, turn the crank, that number gets added to the main register and the counter is incremented. The counter doesn't have a carry mechanism, so it's quite simple. When you turn the crank uh, clockwise to add a number, this, no, this uh, digit increases. When you turn the other way to subtract, it decreases. If you go below zero in the other direction, then the number increases again, but then it shows in red digits. There is of course a bell when the main register underflows or overflows. So anyway, you can enter a number and add it to the main register several times. I've done it three times now, essentially multiplying it by three. You can then shift the carriage and add it to the main register in the tens position. I've done that twice, so I've multiplied it by 23. And if I do that again for the thousands position, I mean, sorry, the hundreds position, I have now multiplied this input by 123. You can clear the counter and the main register using this clearing lever here. All the controls on this machine are on the right hand side, so you can operate it just with uh, the right hand. So when you uh, use this clearing lever, by default it clears both the counter and the main register. But um, if you first um, move this small uh, lever here, then the clearing lever will only uh, clear the counter and leave the main register alone. The input can be cleared with this lever. So that's a, it's quite a decent, nicely designed uh, pinwheel machine. Unfortunately, they have a reputation of being unreliable uh, I don't know why this machine seems to be uh, quite uh, work quite well. Maybe they uh, bec become unreliable after a lot of use. I don't know. But w the main problem these machines have for uh, collectors is that they seize up. Uh, th a lot of the parts tend to uh, seize up once the oil has dried out. So you, you really do need to have uh, them uh, serviced regularly. On this particular machine, nearly every uh, latch in it was completely seized. So the small uh, latches that uh, uh, keep these uh, counter 
number wheels uh, aligned. Those were all seized to the axle, so they moved only all at once, not individually. Also the latch that uh, ensures that this clearing lever movement is completed, that wasn't working. The latch that uh, locks this uh, selection lever into place, that wasn't working as well. The latch that uh, ensured that the crank can't be turned the opposite direction halfway through a turn, that was seized up, so that wasn't working. So all of those things had to be uh, worked loose and lubricated. There's a series of YouTube videos by, uh, uh, on a channel by the user Rubber Swan, and those were very helpful in showing how to disassemble this machine and uh, lubricate it. So all in all, this is quite a nice, a nice uh, pinwheel machine. As I said, this one was first produced in 1949, and this is one of the early ones. It has this green uh, crinkle paint, and uh, yeah, this Malto logo is painted on top of that, and that tends to wear off quite easily. Uh, in around 1954, they changed the paint to, uh, to grey, and the, then the Malto was put on a, a metal badge up here. Uh, the company was bought by uh, Facet in 1966 and production ended right then. Uh, there were some uh, machines uh, released by Facet uh, under the Malto brand, but those were essentially just rebadged uh, original Odener machines. Facet had already uh, merged with uh, original Odener. Uh, in the 1940s. So uh, this was the Malto pinwheel calculator. Thank you for watching.